A senior U.S. official has stated that Washington may explore giving Australia with high-performance B-21 bomber aircraft as China continues to boost its military capabilities. The statement was made by U.S. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall after meeting Royal Australian Air Force RAAF, Officer Robert Chipman in Canberra earlier this week. For many years, the U.S. has been reluctant to arm allies with military equipment and weapons of significant strategic significance, such as nuclear-powered submarines and strategic bombers. However, the U.S. Secretary highlighted that Washington and its allies are worried about China's growing military buildup and activity in the South China Sea. We are in what I perceive to be a race for military technology superiority with the Chinese, Kendall told the strategist, a website linked with the Australian Strategic Policy Institute. The U.S. Air Force is slated to deploy at least 100 B-21 bombers, with the first units set to become operational in the mid-2020s. Kendall's recent visit to Canberra was designed to explore collaboration in the development of new air and space capabilities. However, reporters pressed the Secretary about the scope of the U.S.-Australia relationship, notably in building and deploying strategic bombers. The strategist questioned Kendall whether the U.S. would also consider allowing Australia to cooperate in building B-21 bombers to offer the RAAF with a long-range attack capability. I don't think that there's any fundamental constraint on the areas in which we may cooperate, the secretary added. If Australia had a necessity for long-range strike, then we'd be happy to have a dialogue with them about that. However, Chinese military researcher Song Zhongping said that the U.S. may supply Canberra with a B-21 model that is solely capable of conventional strikes. He also recognized that the bomber aircraft might pose a severe challenge to China because it is capable of intercontinental flying and hitting at great range. If Australia gets the B-21, the country could basically become a overseas bomber base of the U.S. military. Song told Chinese government-owned Global Times.